Okay, my good friends, Mud Foster University, Roger, and today we are going to go into the new particle that physicists believe they have found. There's all, we all know that there's, well, see, they don't really understand. i got to be honest with you, they do not understand it at all. They think everything in the universe held together, pushed apart by four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, and two nuclear interactions. There's one force at play, it's magnetism. It's push and pull, depends upon how many electrons you have. Simple as that. Now, let's go down to see what they say. Uh, hold on, let me go find the good spots. All right, I'm, I'm just going to read this. It says, not, it's not the first time researchers, researchers claim to have caught a glimpse of this particle either. A few years ago, they saw it in the decay of an isotope of beryllium. Now, the same team has seen a second example of the same mysterious force. Particle they think carries... 17 million times the voltage of a regular electron. Uh, if the discovery is confirmed, not only could learning more about this X17 let us better understand the forces that govern our universe, it could also help scientists solve the dark matter problem once and for all. And we are going to solve it right once and for all. Right now, this instant. Okay, I'm going to make this extremely easy. There's only one particle that exists in the universe. Everything is made of it, and it is called what we would call an electron. It's really got a plus and a minus to it. 1,836 of them make a proton, and a bunch of protons together make make a, a, a element. And the elements are like, you know what the elements are. They're these kind of things. Now, these are not... 25 protons and that's it and then it goes to 26 no it goes to 25 chunks of 1836 of these and then another you got a whole bunch of these little particles in between and then you then you go up to another chunk of these that's 1836 so you have a ton of of possibilities in between all those those are called isotopes and i'm going to show you <laughs> there's no possibility that current proton theory could be anywhere near correct, and I will show you why. Before I do show you why, I'm going to show you something that we think we have found a new particle, and it may also be extremely energetic. Now, what are we looking at here? The first picture that I just showed a second ago was just light drifting along just as it does. This is light being accelerated and manifesting itself as the particle that it is, and it is a spinning particle. And we had a Venturi right there. It's called a Venturi. The light comes in, it has to force its way through this rounded structure that accelerates it, crushes it, and then explodes it out the other side. This is is repulsion patterns. That is not interference, flappy this and that and all this and this. It's a spinning a spinning particle. That's the particle. It spins like this and I will show you that. It's no, there's no way you can miss this. The particle is spinning like this. This is a single slit. This is no multiple slits. And you end up with these interference patterns because as it goes through here it's spinning all over this way and all over that way it doesn't hit directly through the center most of them go through the center yes some of them come over here some of them come way out here and they will eventually collect in these little lumps called interference patterns this is clearly the pattern of a drill bit screwing through there all right, so now we're back to just normal light zzz, coming through here. All that is is a wave because that light particle, which is here, owns this big of a region. And it has to come through space. And everything that's in that region where it's coming through, they illuminate and light up. And even these guys illuminate because it's just expanding like a huge bubble coming through the space. Now, there can be absolutely no dispute about this. That is that wave. That is the particle being accelerated through that venturi that I talked about that is right here there's nothing it can do other than to force itself to accelerate and crush and that's exactly what we have now I'm going to show you the particle that may be the particle they're talking about I don't know now I can tell you what's going on here that light is coming at us through that venturi that we saw turned the, the particles of light which are particles spinning particles of light which they do have a mass as well 
It weighs about 0.0054 something atomic mass units. They're coming out of here at us. These little tiny white spits here. That's what they call bosons. They're going so fast they can't really interact with anything yet. And then they crash into the spit the space that's here, the particles that are here, and they fluff into the fields. All the particles start surrounding them and spinning. And then it immediately stops. Right? You get two of these and then it's all over. Now, this is the particle I'm talking about. Now, what do we have here? There's a particle way down inside this disk here, and all of them have one. It's way in the center. And it's, it's going like that. Well, it's it's making these particles out here sort of bump away a little bit. And that's what this is doing. Now this one here, in the other hand, instead of going to the right spin, I believe it's going left. And I can't see any other possibility. It came from the same red laser. It came through the same acceleration device. It came out, and this one's spinning to the left. And the other ones, I believe, are spinning to the right. That one's gathering its field. Is it 17 million times more powerful than those? I have no idea. But I can tell you one thing, that is a glower. Now, I don't know, does it have a ton of power? It's, it's, it's got some power. I can see that. What its value is, I have no idea. And I cannot recreate that either without doing a ton of a zillion other um, experiments. Rodney Warren did these, and he must have spent, well, I know he spent, <laughs> I worked with him for over a year, so I know, and we worked like a lot. So I know he did a ton of work on this, you know, and then, and, and, uh, so I don't know if you could find it again, but that's what happened. And here's what ended up happening to that particle. Hold on. All right, so I think that's that particle. I believe that is that particle. And I believe it is manifesting itself as... <laughs> I don't know. It's doing this. Whatever that is, I don't know. But anyway, it's, it's certainly... The, this is either bigger than light or smaller than light. I don't know what it is at this point. Is it going to spin up? Is it going to... I don't know. And I cannot recreate these either at this point without somebody else stepping in, you know, some university or something saying, ooh, let's look at this. Because the, the point is, that other thing I just showed you back here is there's a possibility you can get uh, um, fusion out of this. If that was a heavy particle, and these were all heavy particles crushing into each other, and they do charge separate, and I can show you that, if absolute fact, a charge separates. Look at this. All right, look at this carefully. That's the particle coming in, and there are particles, and then it crushes in all this glowy looking stuff. Not a bit of darkness in here, zero darkness, 100% plasma. You can see darkness here. That has separated back out somehow. And then you can see it here. Look at that. A dot reformed. A dot reformed. And then all of a sudden the blackness comes back. That is charge separation. And in fusion, if you can create plasma and charge separation, if they come back, separated charges, they should come back to helium instead of heavy hydrogens. And at that point, you have fusion. You have a ton of extra power coming out of there. Now, can it work? I have no idea. I can't make it work. It's got to be in a vacuum chamber. You've got to accelerate the hydrogens. You've got to, of course, have them, tritium and uh, deuterium, uh, something like that. And, um, it, but it's, I, I see, you know, it, the, the payoff, if this could create fusion, the payoff is, it, it's, 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 it's the holy grail, holy grail of, of power, non-polluting, you know, apparently you can't, it can't go out of control. The source of, of all of the fusion stuff is just basically water, hydrogen. So, you know, I'll leave it at that.